Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. I wanted to pop on um, to prep because tomorrow, tomorrow boot camp starts. It starts tomorrow. So we need to do a little, I just wanted to pop on and do a little prepping for it. Um, you guys, I want you to be super aware that you are called a royal warrior. Like I put on that, that video of the vision uh, earlier this week, and I wanted to just, just reiterate this fact that if you are a Christ follower, if you are um, a child of God, then you're a royal warrior. You're in the, the family and you are royalty. That's how spiritual, in the spiritual realm you are seen. So what we're trying to do in this victorious living boot camp, what the goal is, is to actually start believing that and walking in that every day and being able to hold herself like we know that truth in all the situations of life, right? Just being confident of our identity and purpose. So that's what that's what we're about to tackle this next week as we go into our boot camp. All right. So the details, I just want to reiterate that every morning, Monday through Friday, 10 o'clock AM, right here, we're going live and it's going to be about a half hour. I want you to plan to spend about an hour each day um, being involved in the boot camp. There's going to be the video and then you're going to have a little bit of homework and it I really want you to prioritize doing it and actually implementing what we're talking about. Um, so we talked about Romans 8, right? Uh, we went through Romans 8 and we talked about this truth that we are overcomers and our identity as children of God. And there, I want to point out a few things about this fact that we're children of God. Now, the word uses... Um, scripture uses two different Greek words for children of God. Okay, even in Romans 8, in the Greek, um, the term, there's two different terms as it talks about children of God. So in Romans 8, 16, it said the Spirit itself bears witness that we are children of God. So once we accept Christ and the Spirit comes inside of us, we're children, we're adopted in. Now that word is technon in the Greek, and it is defined as one who is a child by mere fact of birth. They're babies, um, it's, it's used as immature sons. So when we give birth to a baby, um, they're ours, right? It's, it's our baby, but you, the thing is you can't really um, see that. Not always, you know, like it just looks like a little, a little bean. It doesn't really resemble the parents very much, right? Later on in Romans 8, 14, it says, for as many are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. I'm sorry, that was above, it was verse 14, but it says, for as many are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. And that word sons there is, is huos. In the Greek and that the definition of that term is one who can be identified as a son because he displays the character or characteristics of his parents and so when we are led by the Spirit we actually resemble our God we resemble our father we resemble our brother when we're led by the Spirit and so that's where we want to be. We are adopted in and children of God. We're, we're heirs to the throne be, by mere adoption, by relationship to God. We are heirs. But how are we living out that identity? What does that look like in us? Are we obedient and mature? And that's what victorious living is about, is about knowing and acting and behaving with this full confidence of who we are. Right, Carrie? I'm glad you're here. Hi, good morning. So I, that's what victorious living is about. It's knowing who we are and walking out in, in that with that mindset. So as we go into the boot camp, I, I just want you to 
to know that this is nothing like I, I'm going to try and encourage you in this truth and um, speak, speak about what the word says and, and bring out some practical tools to help you uh, actually apply this truth to your everyday. But this is going to be work that you have to do. So I'm going to bring you this stuff, but this is, this is stuff that you have to do um, in order to, to grow. Um, there's this truth that I read this last week that just uh, really resonated and I just want to bring it to you. It says, um, spiritual growth is not about time or learning, it's about obedience. So as we're, um, we can be a child of God, we can be a um, technon, we are an heir to the throne, but it doesn't matter how much time or how many boot camps or trainings we go to, if we don't step out in obedience to what God is saying and asking of us, we're never going to have the maturity of the huos, the mature child, right? So that's why you see Christians that have been Christians and gone to church for 40 plus years maybe, but they still aren't producing the fruit um, and, and holding themselves quite like the royal warrior that we're actually called to be. It's about being obedience, about being obedient. That's why I'm bringing you these worksheets and that's why I'm asking you to engage with the boot camp so that you can actually step forth in this identity and with this um, truth and, and be confident in all that you do going forward and be victorious. Um, so 1 John 2.20, it says, but you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. You have an anointing and you know the truth. So it's not necessarily that you need um, more teachings or um, you, you, with the anointing, the word will come to life and move in you and lead you. So I just want to encourage you that you have the anointing, you have everything you need to live victoriously. Carrie, you have the anointing. You have the anointing of the Holy One to know the truth and to walk in it. So I just want to encourage you in that. Jenna, Amy, you have the anointing. Crystal, Echo, you are anointed. You are anointed to know the truth. So as we go forth in this week, uh, I just want to encourage you in that. I just want to encourage you. Uh, really just apply yourself to the work so that you can um, walk forth in this victorious life, okay? Okay, that's it. That's our pep talk. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. I'll be here. I'll, worksheets are going to be posted today so that you can print those out and have them ready. Here they are. Um, there's one sheet per day. There will be some questions, um, a place for you to just write some notes about what we're talking about. And then, you know, not everything is going to resonate with you. You're gonna just, as the anointing is on you, there will be truths that you're, you're gonna grab onto and need to spend a little bit more time on and others that you'll um, wanna come back to at another time. So, um, have fun with it. Have fun with it all. And I just hope that it encourages you and blesses you so much this week. I'm really looking forward to all that God has for us. Okay. I love you guys and have a great Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow.